Blood pressure testing. Test type. Health. Equipment required. A sphygmomanometer or an electronic blood pressure monitor. Before you measure your blood pressure, 1. Avoid anything that can increase blood pressure in the short term. Don't measure blood pressure within half an hour of consuming food, smoking, drinking caffeinated drinks such as coffee, or exercising. These can all raise blood pressure transitorily. If the client requires to use the toilet, go before the test starts. 2. Wear loose-fitting clothes. Wear a short sleeve t-shirt or something with sleeves can be easily pushed up, nothing tight. This is so that the cuff can fit around the arm. 3. Rest for five minutes before taking the reading. Sit down somewhere quiet, ideally at a desk or table. Have the back supported with the arm resting on a firm surface and the feet flat on the floor. Stay in this position while taking blood pressure. 4. Make sure the arm is supported and at the same level as the heart. Position the client so that the arm is resting on a surface and is at the same height as the heart. Keep the arm and hand relaxed, not tense. 5. Make sure the client is relaxed and comfortable. If the client is anxious or uncomfortable, the blood pressure will rise temporarily. Sphygmomanometer. A device called a sphygmomanometer will be used to measure blood pressure. This usually consists of a stethoscope, arm cuff, pump and dial, although automatic devices that use sensors and have a digital display are also commonly used nowadays. How to measure your blood pressure using a monitor. One. Follow the instructions that came with the monitor. Make sure you place the cuff around the client's arm as described in the instructions. Two, place the arm cuff just above the elbow. The cuff should be about two centimeters above the elbow to make sure it can detect the artery in the arm, just under the skin. Three, ask your client to keep still and quiet while you take the reading. Moving, chewing, talking, and laughing can affect the reading. Make sure the client does not cross their legs as this will raise the reading too. Four, take two or three readings, each one about one or two minutes apart. If the first reading is much higher than the next, ignore it and take an extra reading. Once you have two to three readings, you can work out the average. Five, keep a record of your measurements.